What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax Baby. <laughs> you already know. So, I know it's Tom Cruise week. Well, it's really Tom Cruise week next week. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of 4K releases coming out. I've done War of the Worlds. Top Gun's coming. Days of Thunder, maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Uh, but I was looking through my very impressive iTunes 4K digital collection. And guess what? Vanilla Sky is now in 4K with Dolby Vision and HDR. So is The Firm. So you can expect reviews on both of these. We're gonna start with Vanilla Sky. I remember watching it not so long ago in 1080p. And I remember thinking that it's a very grainy affair. Wasn't a big fan of the transfer, but I loved the movie. It's one of those movies that I can remember exactly where I was, what I was doing the first time I watched it. It's one of those movies I didn't watch straight away, so it was out for a little bit of time. I remember I was in college, I was doing film and arts, because your boy did want to be an actor back in the day. And when I wasn't doing that, I was actually working in Blockbuster for a while. Best job I ever had. 100%, we were all like one big family there. And the cool thing about Blockbusters is that you could rent as much as you wanted, free of charge. And I remember I, I rented this movie out, and it got, I remember it got really late at night. It must have been 1 a.m. in the morning and I was tired. I was really tired and I just thought, okay, let me just switch this on. Maybe I'll just fall asleep to it. Because I wasn't really enthusiastic about this movie. Damn, this movie woke me up in a heartbeat. Listen, we had Cameron Diaz, you had Penelope Cruz. God damn. And you had Tom Cruise. Such a strange movie and by the end of it, I couldn't go to sleep. I was so wide awake. I was trippy. The whole experience was trippy. I was like, shit. This movie really messed me up. And I was young when I watched that and I had a chance to watch it again. And wow, it's just I appreciated it so much more the second time because obviously I'd grown up and hopefully smartened up. So there were a lot of elements littered throughout the movie, which kind of tell you where it's going. But I just didn't notice it the first time I watched it. So it's one of those movies that you're going to watch multiple times. And if you don't have this in your collection already, I don't know what to say to you. Now, I did watch the iTunes 1080p version, and I do feel that with older movies, they don't look as good as the 1080p discs. Nowadays, though, it's a completely different story. Now, I felt that the 1080p version of this was a bit of a dirty, grainy transfer. It looks very soft to me, and what the 4K does with this is it just cleans it up very nicely. The grain is still there, but it's very minimal, more refined, and less obtrusive. I mean, you go to the scene where, where Tom Cruise is wearing his mask and he's having a conversation with Kurt Russell, and Kurt Russell so you can see all the pores, all the wrinkles. He's aged in this movie because it's just that much more detail. You're going to see the 4K arch flexing its muscles, especially in on textures on clothing, wooden surfaces, building interiors, reflections off cars. Everything has that upgrade. Now, if Penelope Cruz was tasty in 1080p, she's A1 here. 4K has done her nothing but justice in this transfer. Uh, and I would say the same thing about Cameron Diaz, but Cameron Diaz is a crazy bitch in this movie, right? So I just can't find her attractive right now. Now don't get your boy wrong. I love crazy women, but this girl is on another level in this bitch. And because of the added detail, you've got a lot more depth as well. Indoor shots, even outdoor scenes have that three dimensional pop that the 1080p was just lacking. Now, if I was to tell you what the HDR is like, I would say Penelope Cruz and Cameron Diaz threesome all day, baby. Shit, that rhymed. Bars. The HDR also is flexing its muscles a little bit. It's a nice, bright movie. A lot more brighter than the 1080p was. Not necessarily panty dropping per se, but the nighttime shots, there's a scene towards the end of the movie where you've got Tom Cruise totally out of his mind just running through an alleyway, a dark alleyway, and the darks look so much more detailed and inky than they were in the 1080p. And even the brights, the whites, are a lot more pronounced. And we switch over to the wider color, it's very, very obvious. This is a very vibrant looking movie. Maybe too vibrant in parts, but it's nice, saturated, the sky looks great. You're seeing different color tones on clothing. The way the sun reflects against the windows can be blinding at times. The sky in this movie, I mean, it's called Vanilla Sky, God damn it. The sky in this movie looks gorgeous. And to be honest, it just totally violates the 1080p. Great shadows, great lighting, great high dynamic range. 
Now, I didn't get a chance to check out the Dolby Vision, but I would imagine it would look just as good, if not better, in some areas. I think it's the same audio track as the 1080p. It's a Dolby Digital 5.1, so I'm not going to speak too much on it, apart from the fact that it's decent. We're too sport with DTSX and Atmos these days. It would have been nice if it had Atmos on here, because I think it would have benefited, but, you know, decent surround sound for what it is. So overall, it's a great upgrade to the 1080p. Is it a panty dropper, razor sharp 4K extravaganza? No, it's still got that kind of dreamlike effect to it, but it's a massive upgrade from the 1080p. It's not a reference quality uh, transfer by any stretch, but it's very, very noticeable. I'm gonna give the movie a nine, because I love the movie. I'm gonna give the 4K an eight, and I'm gonna give the audio, well, the audio gets a five, because it's a 5.1. Makes sense. If you're a fan of this movie and you're holding out for a 4K Blu-ray version, I can't see that happening anytime soon, people. So you might as well get the iTunes digital. It looks really good. If you watched it in 4K, tell me what you think. Do you want me to review the firm as well in 4K? Just let me know. All right, guys, you take care. 4K Rockstar, you already know.